Today we're going to be surviving 100 days in Minecraft super flat. The catch? The floor is made up of lucky blocks that drop random items. They're sometimes good and sometimes bad. For our first 10 days, we're allowed to open one lucky block a day. Up to 20, we get two and so on. And our three goals for this video is to get a full set of netherite gear, craft four beacons, and defeat the ender dragon. Please subscribe and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in not a village in sight, but we are in. So we get one lucky block hit today. So let's just go for it. <laughs> What? <laughs> a beacon to start things out. That should be very useful down the road. <laughs> I don't know. Let's head towards the sun. Uh, let's just maybe hope we can find a village before. Oh, okay. That was actually really easy. Now, as I recall, you always grab the wheat. And saddles, bread, lots of bread. Of course, a yellow bed to match the, the yellow world. Okay, so like always, I'm going to punch some trees to start things off. There's our workbench. And with our wooden pick, we can get cobble for the pick and the ax. And while I really hate this, I gotta do it. Always the scariest thing of any playthrough. Oh no, don't mess my run up. Oh no, oh no. Ha ha, my run will not be hijacked. So let's head on to this next village. Okay, nightfall is approaching. We need one of these. There's really not a lot we can do right now. Like I'll gather some wood. And with that, I think we'll just call it a night. So another day, another hit. I choose you. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like this. Oh, no, no, my ax, my ax, I didn't mean to drop my ax. I can't see anything. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what, it's nighttime now? What is this? I am really confused with what just happened. It just turned at nighttime, apparently. That was awfully rude and definitely a waste of a day. Lucky blocks can also give you bad stuff. And uh, you know, this isn't gonna be a free run. We're just lucky it wasn't anything worse. So right now I'm feeling really rich and really poor. We'll call it a night. Never mind. No, we won't. We'll die. We'll die. We'll die. We'll Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That was a kill. That snipe was a kill. That shot was a kill. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Oh! <laughs> Why I haven't made a shield yet is completely beyond me. Okay, day three. Guys, I kind of gotta... Woo! Woo! Okay, a little less scary now, but still the scariest thing on the... It is worth it, but man, I hate it. Also, we got string and another hit, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> wow, that's not great. It's funny though, it feels like that's very like in line with our progression right now, so it kind of works. Like, you know, that could have been diamond gear and it would have been like, wow, what a step forward. But it's like, no, you're on day three. So for the purpose of the storyline, we need you to get something not so good. <laughs> now we have a brewing stand, a bed, mason stuff. Oh, a, oh, hi. Yes, I want arrows. And we'll use our string to make a bow. That's a nice step forward. All right, my guy, I actually need you to just stay safe in here. You, I mean, you guys can both go in there. That would be, that would be great. That's perfect, thank you. We will take this composter. We can head on to the next town. Oh, and look what it has. Not only do we have a grindstone and lava, but ladies and gentlemen, there it is, finally some good stuff. Also considering how close we just came to dying, I think I'll make a chest plate. So let's make a bucket right now. There's one piece of lava. Librarian, we must keep him safe. Really setting ourselves up. Let's take that. And we'll take these books as well. Okay, so we've given ourselves a few days to roam, kind of get some stuff, get stocked up. It's actually a pretty nice start. With any Minecraft playthrough, you gotta come to the realization eventually that it's time to settle down and find a home. And I actually really like this area because there's a village there, there's a village here, and there's also the village we came from way over there in the distance. So I'm going to try to get as much wood as I can right now there goes the Sun we'll call it there hello day four okay ladies and gentlemen let's pray to the where's the Sun let's let's pray to the lucky block gods we're gonna go with this one right here whoa what who are you Bob excuse me yeah 
Ha <laughs> ha, nice, man, nice. I won't even kill you, that was awesome. Anyway, I do want my house to be a little separate. I think this is a good area. We have 40. That's like a six by six square right now. Home sweet home, guys. Absolute classic look. Oh yeah, what a beautiful shack. Oh, go away. I'm building a house. Time to add some safety. Okay, so next we'll do all the things you do at a normal house. You add chests, crafting table. Oh, of course you're gonna need a furnace. But hey, don't think for a second that this is gonna be a regular, okay, boring, lame old hut by the end of this video. All right, you gotta help me with that watch time here. You gotta watch all the way through on this one. For right now, I'm actually gonna go get some more resources. Okay, that felt like a productive day. Now, I will lay down my fence to stop anyone from- <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, this is not safe. So let's uh, just get some light. I mean, you know, nothing's really gonna spawn that close to us regardless, but a bit of safety goes a long way. Wow, I really hate this. Oh, this is terrible. I, I, I don't even think I can sleep right now. No. Okay, maybe now? Yes, ha <laughs> ha. Please be something good. We have- Cats. So it's day six now and I made an oopsie. The start of day five, I got a phone call and muted my mic. I then forgot to turn it back on until right now. Fortunately, you didn't miss much. I moved my army of cats to strategically be around our perimeter, laid some dirt down, did some fishing, and on day six, my lucky block was a bunch of obsidian. So honestly, consider yourself lucky. We also managed to get some more iron. And I think we'll do a helmet and boots. So there we have full iron gear. Thank you and goodbye. And as the sun rises on day seven, I would like to do a little exploring. But first, we hit our block. Whoa, mending, punch, thorns, blast, power, mending, frost, luck of the sea, soak touch. Today is a good one. Okay, here's our horse. Not a ton of health, but it's a horse. Let us head eastward. Also, if it looks laggy, that's because it is. Our chunks are cranked all the way. But come on, it's worth it to spot villages. Ah, well, well, well. If it isn't another library. I'll just take the books. Not a lot really going on here. Semi-promising, more potatoes. And please, yeah, that's not bad. I guess we'll take a cartography table. Off in the distance, I see a promising looking village. I'll take a smoker. Okay, wow, I'm really facing some danger today. Oh, emeralds. Okay, well, I feel like that was a productive level of looting and goodbye. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. <gasps> Whoa, okay, two enchanted golden apples coming in at number one on top five things you love to see. This sure is a, a nice looking compound. Oh, but look at all the stuff we got today. All right, you know, maybe that wasn't the most productive thing we've ever done, but it's stuff you gotta do. Now, as for things I simply want to do, we're gonna get grass. This is a slime free work zone. Your babies are going to die. Their babies are going to die. So here's our one piece of grass. You know, we can triple this up here, really make it a more efficient route. I'm really struggling in this world. There's just like not a lot you can do at night. We just need better gear. Well, I guess if we want to get better gear, we should sleep. You see this block right here? Really? I think underneath is dirt. Whoa! <gasps> Oh, come on. Oh, we got eight. Dude, that was huge. 12 diamonds, bit of lapis, bit of gold. Man, okay, what do we do here? We got some options here. It's a lot of iron, but you gotta start sometime. Wow, that just really put us ahead. Oh man, that's amazing. 12 diamonds. I'm not sure if I'm at a place where I need a pick right now, but a good set of diamond gear. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, no, first thing, 100%. Eight bookshelves. Sit on this for a second. I need to go get some more dirt. See how we have dirt now? Three layers deep of dirt. What this means is, yeah, we have unlimited access to dirt now. Imagine this central house, central hub, right? And then we're gonna have a whole bunch of like little, little like connect ways. And it's just gonna be like a giant hub of buildings. That is my master plan for this episode. Okay, so the concept is quite simple. Uh, I'd really like to do this next one with more blocks, but <laughs> we just don't have anything else. 
Ooh. Now, before it gets too dark, just gonna grab a little more wood. Huge grass update. Wow, what a day. Okay, so we'll bring this out a little bit, not get killed by this little man with a shovel. Oh, I might get killed by this little boy with a shovel. Oh my God, why is this so dangerous? So the sun is rising, but the rain is still falling. Yeah, I'm okay with that for now. Honestly, I will take on breaking two. We'll make a new shovel. Oh, efficiency three would be nice. Oh boy, here I go killing. Oh my God. Oh, I am not ready for that. If I kill them, I cannot end a village. But I mean, I would also get a totem. No, Pat, you can't do it. You are barely capable of killing slimes right now. Let them do their thing. There's level 16. There's the shovel. Ah, and I'm breaking, sure. And sharpness, sure. A lot of lapis used, but we can always get more from an alchemist. Now, in other news, it is day 10, which means now we can do two lucky blocks a day. I got one. Cake. Okay. And, woo! Oh, heck yeah. Slime, I got fireworks. It means I got something good. Lucky bow and lucky potions. Wonder what that means. Does it get, I think they get, I think they get crits more regularly. Oh my God. I think I remember this bow, but it's a little cracked. Now, I'm no Minecraft expert, but as I recall, yeah. Oh, so not always, but sometimes, sometimes it does something cool. Oh, a chicken. Wait, actually, how do I make this more lucky? Can't put it in there, but I can't put the lucky sword in. That's interesting. So I'm really not sure what to do with these. I mean, I mean, they're obviously useful. As I, oh, whoa. Oh, I mean, that was sick, but I did not mean to do that. Let's see what else we can do. That's sick. So much food, wow. Oh, oh, okay, I gotta be careful. I keep just throwing these willy-nilly. Speed three for 10 minutes? Okay, it's time to go on an adventure. I am faster than a horse. Okay, so we're just gonna go on a bit of a wood chopping spree today throughout all the local neighborhoods. Now tonight, I'm going to lay the rest of my dirt. Whoa, that's not chill. I mean, effective. I would really like to see what is down there. Give me something good, sword. <laughs> Ooh, I uh, don't see any creepers. Wow, dude, I am getting wrecked this game. Oh, wow, okay. Wanna see me break a shovel? Wanna see me do it again? Beautiful, All right, so it's a new day and we have rabbit stew and, oh gosh, dang it. I think it's, oh, would that kill me? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we almost just died. Instead, we were just given two anvils. I may, may be cracked, but two anvils, that's two anvils. Thank you, game. Now, I am going to spend the day laying dirt. Our empire expands. How's our grass doing? Not bad. Okay, I'm a little disappointed, but um, there really only is so much you can do. Oh, yeah. Bring the rain. Or the, the, th the thunder. Bring the thunder. Okay, I want to do some trimming, but I actually also kind of want to go for the nine size, okay? Like eight, I just find to be an annoying number. Everything I want to put in the middle, it's like I have to put in an awkward spot. So overall, I think this looks a lot better. We have, woo! Let's go. Heck yeah. Oh my God. Oh, 16 diamonds. Plus we still got 10. I don't think I would normally do this, but given the fact that we have just been getting mucked around so hard, I'm going for the full set. Look at that. Let's see what we got here. Projectile protection, protection two. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the projectile protection and I'm breaking. Protection one and <laughs> Projectile protection. Yeah. <laughs> We've still got a lot of wood though. We're gonna check in with our lads, sell some sticks. Next, we wanna head over here. Here is our librarian. Give me a second here. Oh, mending, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna lock this guy in. Sadly, I'm not really there for what I need to be doing. Oh God, this is awful. Whoa, we got some bones. There we go. Basically, I just want to get enough emeralds so that we can get glass from that librarian. Now we've also got ourselves two more books. 
Two more bookshelves. We also have 20 emeralds from that first fireworks show. Trade with this guy. We can trade off some sticks. Chop some more trees. Destroy some family homes. Whoa! The game has blessed me with chickens. So let's safely secure them for now. Grab some more emeralds. Can sell this man some string too. Grass update. Now, oh, my free librarian. Not quite time for mending. We gotta go with the bookshelves. We're getting there. Okay. <gasps> Heck yes. Wow, we just got so many. Oh my god, look at all this gold. Oh no. Oh no, my horse. My horse. <laughs> no, it didn't have very good health anyway. Now for the risky business. We're gonna hit all these. We're just gonna go for it. Oh, a wishing well. And I have a coin. Whoa! Not near the lava, dude. <gasps> what? What just happened? Oh my god. Okay, things are really. Things are. Re oh. Whoa, 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 that is not chill. It made a beacon for us. Are you serious? Okay, it's a, uh, oh, okay, okay, cool. It's a, uh, a single beacon. That, that's reasonable. At the end of the day though, it's still a beacon. <laughs> I just don't even know if I want to hit the rest of these. Like, give me a second, give me a second. Bit of gold, bit of, bit of stuff. Two beacons. You know, this early in the game, it really wouldn't hurt to set up a beacon. I guess all we can do right now is, is speed. It's better than nothing. For now, we'll just put it right here. We can do our gold one right here. That's kind of cool. Do haste. Oh yeah, we can also uh, finish this. Yeah, I just need to get to level 30. Okay, so rather than selling these logs, I'm actually gonna turn them into charcoal. While we wait for that, I'm gonna go talk to our librarian. Oh man, I was getting nervous. We gotta get this guy to safety. Oh gosh, dang it, you're not even there. I need glass, no. A book for an emerald. Now this guy will do carrots for emeralds. And I see carrots right here. That is incredible. Well, yeah, we could buy another bookshelf. Sell those books. And slowly but surely, I think we can do this. Dude, I just feel like this world so far has been a mess. But things are going well. <laughs> let's uh, let's hit one of these. Yeah, give me some potions. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I need right now. Slowness. But resistance, no. Okay, some of these are good. Let's actually bring out the apple. Just you never know, right? Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Your death wish came true. Anyway, jokes on them because I still got iron. Next one. Oh, buckets. I love buckets. <gasps> apples. I love apples. Tools, I guess. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to use this. We need to capitalize on this, guys. Okay, this is really dangerous. Like, a charge creeper could potentially kill us. But you can use these to get heads. I've never dealt with this before. Are you ready? This is gonna be chaotic. Okay, it's almost nightfall. I am genuinely just going to wait, because this is that worth it. We also still have to hit our two from today, but let's just wait a sec. Okay, we do have diamond gear. We have a shield. <laughs> This is going to be all right. Maybe a zombie and a skeleton. I think we got the projectile protection. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my god! Ugh, what a fail. Okay, we did at least get a disc drop. That's kind of cool, but it's about one tenth as cool as what we could have got. So I am sad. And it's called wait, of course, because we have to wait for another time. Anyway, oh my gosh, we just have so much stuff going on right now. We still have to hit this. Oh, that's lame. But what I'm getting at is we still haven't hit our actual two for today. So, oh, oh, that's exciting. Just like a little set of redstone stuff. Wow, hoppers, always love hoppers. Oh, that is a genuinely very cool drop. And lastly, we have... Okay, very random, but I love coal and I like melons. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm accumulating too many things right now. But check out this, Got all those torches. This is gonna be dangerous, but it's very important. Oh man, okay, it's time for a fight. Whoa, oh, ha <laughs> dude, this sword is so sick. So I feel like we're at the point where our gear, like it doesn't match our house. So I'm gonna take efficiency two. We'll hit our two things. Oh God, oh God, this is dangerous. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna enchant a golden apple this, I think. Don't like not being able to see anything, but I think I'm safe. Dude, why is it nighttime? This is absurd. I'm going to bed. You're on fire, you stupid fish. Anyway, um, I literally just want dirt right now. So, yeah, we need to fix our gate. So, we're gonna make this wider, longer, and I am out of stuff. But we'll get some more wood. That should be more than enough. Okay, this is actually a pretty good chunk of land. There is so much more to do. I really want to get this grass going. So I think I'm just gonna like settle down and commit right here. Yeah, that should be a pretty good start. A few more sticks. I also have not forgot about the lucky blocks. We didn't hit yesterday's yet. We're just, we just need a break. Okay, need a break from the chaos. So two more bookshelves. Oh, this is too slow. Break one of these, grab some more. Oh, my man's gonna give me some deals now too. Beautiful. Now this is the big moment. It, it might not even be glass. I hate everything. <laughs> give me something cool. That's not cool. Give me something cool. That's not. What? Well, I mean that's definitely not cool. It's not even gonna attack me. I mean I guess I'm fine with that. Okay. Give me something cool. That's cool. Give me something cool. Gosh dang it. God, I really just need more materials for the things that I want to do right now. First of all, I want to make it so that slimes can't spawn in our area. Slimes can't spawn on carpet, so we might just go down this road. There's one sheep. Here's two. Oh, chicken just walked in. That's incredible. But we're gonna start this whole process. Sheep shears. They should be sharp. So white carpet. It's not much but it's a start. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a slow process, but I'm starting to kind of see what I want our little compound to look like. Oh, we got one more oak log. That's exactly what we need. Okay, so here we have like our little hub of three pods. The plan is that each little pod is going to be a separate area with its own stuff. But from there, this whole section is then going to connect out to a much larger giant central hub. And then on the opposite side of this giant hub, we're going to have another set of these three. So it's gonna be like one giant facility. Beautiful. Now logistically, I think it would make the most sense to have these little areas as like, these can become the walkways. Yeah. But we're gonna need a lot more wood before we can get there. So we'll get some trees planting down. Grass is slowly coming along. It seems to be faster when I come over here. Now our iron stacks are coming along pretty well. We're not there yet, but we could think about digging this out. Get that bottom row and another. Yeah, we can even fit some gold in there. Relatively kind of close to finishing that up. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that actually worked out really well. <laughs> I guess we'll do the rest. Sure. <gasps> Whoa, super horse. Sick. Frost walker, frost walker, lore, impaling, literally. Uh, what else we got? Like, none of these things are usable. Luck of the sea and smite. Smite's pretty good, but everything else, like, I literally can't get impaling. Oh, and an anvil. That's nice. Anyway, uh, we do have two more hits today. <laughs> At this point, I'm jet. Whoa, look at that health boost. That's sick. Anyway, um... Oh, okay. All right, that's pretty nice. We can get two anvils because it looks cool. Also, I should be putting torches on this, I'm thinking, because the light level will be high enough that it can still grow. That should help speed it up. Oh my God, we also have so much wood. We still do have one more hit today. <laughs> Here we go. So rude. Let's tame this guy. Beautiful. We're going to head north. I'm really just going in search of blocks right now. Ooh, there's glass. Okay, I gotta go back. I just remembered I have silk touch. We'll make a diamond pick. Oh, efficiency too. Cool. Slap on silk touch. Now, I'm gonna get started by just taking down these little houses. Okay, ready? Oh no. Oh man, I didn't prepare for this at all. Okay, that might change your plans a little bit. Let me go for the glass still. Nice. Yeah, maybe I should have just come here with full diamond tools. We'll get as much glass as we can. It's not gonna be much. Should give us a bit though. Oh, this is all differently stained. Ah, I see. That's white stained, not just regular panes. 
Okay, we're gonna head back and we'll return in the morning. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this content, you should subscribe. I upload once a month and every single video is an absolute banger. So you've really got nothing to lose. Makes me feel better about myself and you get bangers every month. Okay, so the name of the game tonight, Diamond Axe. Extra spicy. Diamond shovel. Side order of zest. Diamond sword. A dash of heat. Combined with the big bold flavor of Smite 4. Just gonna toss all this stuff away. Oh, and are you ready for this? Woohoo! Dang it. Beautiful. Oh, I wonder if it would be cool to put the yellow in here. Maybe just like how they do it. Also very random, but just gonna throw blast protection on this helmet. We'll do today's hits. What? Oh, because I have so touch. Okay, you ready? Yay. Oh, oh. Oh, that was pretty hype, I won't lie. I was a little nervous. Also, as cool as this horse is, it can't jump over a fence. If you just watched the last video, a little bit of chicken PTSD. So if you'll not mind, no chickens in our house this time. Okay, it's just, I just, I can't, I can't do it right now. And now that the night is almost up, we're gonna head back. Now let's try this again, but with better tools. I feel like I'm just wiping this down off the map. Oh yeah, this is genuinely so much faster than just like making trees and chopping them down. Time to go home. It's day 20, which means we now get three hits. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Okay, you guys ready to get wrecked? I know what that does. It didn't really do anything. Anyway, one more diamond horse armor. Nice. Let's think about our next area. So this, except this is just gonna be one giant area. Now I definitely don't have enough wood yet, right? What if, to save ourselves some time, we did slabs instead? It's perfect, we'll never know the difference. Ooh, we got a whole nother stack of oak logs, which means more slabs. Okay, that is very hype. Fill this in as such. I think this looks incredible. The only thing is we're gonna have to move this beacon. On the bright side, we still have three blocks to hit today. Ooh, hero sword? Ooh. It's got sharpness, smite, and bane. Wow. Okay, another lucky sword. <gasps> and a dragon egg? Sick. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I mean, I am in the market for some good XP. Now, I have a real question. Would you go into that bed? Oh, hype, hype. Oh my God, there's so many villagers. <laughs> villagers, come on in, my dudes. Oh, I just had a thought. Okay, I was just looking at this. I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. What if we uh, filled this up? Okay, we fill this in. Hey, come on in. I was wondering when this was gonna happen. Dark oak sapling, that's pretty nice. Okay, let's hit our three. <laughs> it's like I remember exactly what this is and I'm just, I'm just unimpressed. Like really trash gear and a player head. <laughs> okay, so I really do like me some dark oak saplings, but we need more if we want them to grow. Oh no. Well, I think this is actually probably for the best. And we're just gonna make a little uh, inoculation chamber, let's call it. We already have a fermented spider eye. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Okay, I have I have a lot of gold. We have obsidian. We have lava. We'll put this off the compound for now over here by all this chaotic stuff. We're gonna do a little, little nether portal. You know, casual. We'll wait for that to light. Oh my God, I hate glow squid, man. Like why? You're ruining my cool water. We should be fine for the nether. We should be fine. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay, here's our guy. Haha, -ha, nice try, nerd. Well, since I do actually have Silk Touch, that makes this incredible. Just really easy access to gold. Oh, you're gonna fight me, are ya? Okay, so we have one, oh, wow, oh, three. A lot of junk, but that was great. Now we're out of here. Put that fermented spider eye in, put our gold in, and there is the splash potion of weakness. We don't have too much time left. Fortunately, this shouldn't be terrible. There's just one now, okay, sick. One's enough. Next time I run into this issue, I will put them in boats because apparently that will stop them from despawning. Come on in, buddy. Okay, decontamination chamber. There's a potion. There's an apple. I'll even put some water in here for you so you don't burn. 
Hey, there it is. Okay, so now we can finally sell off some more sticks. We can talk to this guy. He'll give us some more dark oak saplings. And now we have access to a pretty decently okay source of wood. Oh, well. This is awkward. Sand? That's actually a bigger deal than it sounds. Okay, my man, please come on in. I didn't even realize he has a jungle sapling. You are cool, but this guy is cool. We get like half of that sand going. So that gives us 16 glass panes. It's a great start. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the night to make some quality of life changes. Whoa, what? Where did you come from? Excuse me? <laughs> It has to do something with a. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. I think that pressure plates trigger lucky blocks. So like. Whoa! I mean, I guess that's fine to use now, but that's really weird. So much for quality of life changes. Okay, I have to kill this guy because he's. Whoa, whoa, there's a creeper. Bro, I got moves, but that was terrifying. Ready, 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 ready. Yes, yes, let's go. Okay, we got another zombie villager. We'll let this lad out. Ha ha, come on in, fellas. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna, no. Oh my God, dude, you're such a jerk. This is a nightmare. How can you kill one of your own so easily? That's what you get. Fortunately, we only lost the farmer. Ha ha, quick apple. Would have been nice to do too, but it's fine. Hey. Okay, so I keep running into one big issue and it's not having enough arrows. So my guy, give me a good stack. Thank you. So right now I kind of just feel like I don't have any serious goal, but I'm changing that. And my current goal is, is to just simply get glass. So we get a new librarian Can let this man out of captivity. $1 mending. <laughs> give me some emeralds. Thank you. Okay, I need a bookshelf. Break the bookshelf. One emerald mending, one emerald power. Guess we'll take another mending. Dang, that is hype. Sure, we'll take thorns. That's fine. So we're going to sell some more sticks, but I can break these and then these sell for one emerald a pop. Okay, guys, I think it's time. Three for this guy, three for this guy, three for my mans. Oh, more sticks. Okay, give it some time, we'll get there. Anyway, it's a slow but steady process. We're also a little bit behind. We have six blocks to hit today. Sad. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Bad. Um, 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 efficiency. Oh wait, I have a bucket. I'm stupid. Wow, I was getting really nervous there. I really should start taking these more seriously though. Maybe we'll just always have the enchanted golden apple on deck. Gosh dang it. No, no. And weird, I hate it. Anyway, we got another big tree. Start a new one. Boom, meal it up. Oh, that was easy. My life just got so much better. I am also forgetting something. Jungle saplings. Dark oak, good. Jungle sapling, good. I've also decided I am done with this decontamination chamber. So we chopped some trees, got some things. Here is Fletcher number two. We'll do the stick thing, which gives us enough for the level up. Now we'll sell these right back to him, and that should be enough. Please, sir, yes! Woo! Such a process, and now look at that, ladies and gentlemen. So easy. Our guy is ready for more stick trades, which should give us enough pains to hopefully fill this all in. One thing is I'm not really sure how to deal with this area. It's a little open, you know? Just doesn't feel good. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. Also, ladies and gentlemen, grass has finally hit our compound. Okay, so we have, oh, a zombie head. We have stupid stuff. <gasps> oh, let's go. Another beacon. Oh, that is incredible. Go ahead and break this and grab our iron. For now, I think I wanna put my beacon on this side. We are so close. We will take this. And at this point, I think I just want haste. For now, I think that's cool and that'll give us speed. So I think I'm gonna make a new ax. Efficiency four, beautiful. Throw some mending on that bad boy and woo. 
I think it's time I finally face my terrible, terrible management system. I think that's better. Got a lot of leather, so we can label everything. Well, it's a new day, and we are one, two, <laughs> three. Our storage system is looking a whole lot better. And so next up, I actually want to fill my roofs in. Whoa, this was unintentional, but it looks cool. Yeah, so I think this looks pretty cool. The look is not totally down yet, but we're getting there. Oh, by the way, <laughs> so I've been using the Steve skin forever, like the entirety of this channel. Someone made this on a random website and it works really well for our logo. So I'll use it for the rest of this video, but let me know if you hate it or not. I don't think there are any villagers left here. It's not looking good. Oh, hey. All right, I'm in a I'm in a saving mood right now, so you're going to come with me. Woo! Oh my god, what a nightmare. Got a bed right here for you. Okay, well that's two villagers saved. Easy carrots, easy trades, watermelon. Nice, okay. Ice spike lovers may remember what we're about to do. So making a melon farm is going to require a lot of materials. We need 64 rails. That was rude. What? Why is that a thing? Dude, the amount of close calls we've had this game. Okay, well fine game, you go. Okay, that was kind of you. That was rude. <laughs> oh, except it's 30 now. So I didn't even realize, but we get an extra hit. Oh, oh, what does that mean? What's my problem? Just a troll? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, my apologies. What I'm getting at is uh, a melon farm. So first we need 40 melon seeds. We could kill skeletons. Okay, so this should yield better results. Next thing we need is some redstone dust. That'll give us 36 powered rails. Now we have four pistons, but we need 40. That's gonna be 20. We'll buy more redstone, kill this guy. We can take our diamonds, take back some of our iron, but we also need wood. Now we have 40 pistons. That's gonna be enough melon seeds. So that's all the complicated stuff. We also need two hoppers, plus one minecart with a hopper, a bucket of water, two chests, one slab, 128 temporary blocks. Off topic, but we got some horses. Now we need more redstone. Now, I am here for this. We need a second alchemist for more redstone. Hopefully this should be enough. Oh, wait, it's not. Because <laughs> I forgot one key ingredients, and that is 40 observers. We're here for courts. We should be able to get enough from this village. There we go. And there we have 40 observers. Hey! All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. There's our 10 by nine hole. So chest goes here, hopper goes here. Actually, I screwed up and I need an extra layer down. Let's see, we need this to be two blocks deep. We're gonna add redstone torches down here, cover it over, then another one here. And now we start laying our rails. And there's a rail system. And so this will function as our collection system. And then we add water on our slab in the middle. I'm also gonna grab a glowstone from this guy, place this down over top, and now we get hoeing. And now we add in all our melon seeds. Now now we insert the pistons, and it seems I am a little short. There we go. And we're gonna need a little more quartz to match that for observers. Next, we'll grab the rest of our cobblestone back. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I just realized I put these all on wrong. Sorry, guys. This is what we're looking for. Beautiful. Now we just need to talk to our Walter White, and 51 should be exactly enough. Whoa! <laughs> this should get it going. Okay, we'll make a bit of bone meal. So we can bone meal some more of these. It comes down on it when it grows. Yeah, it's not that watermelons are being produced. It's just growing. So there's like, look, melons are coming through. It's working. We just need some more dirt. Now we can fill this in so that watermelons don't do that. And there we have it. One watermelon farm. Look at that. Now that we have our watermelon farm, you simply take your melon slices, make melons, talk to your farmer, and boom, there you go. Easy emeralds. Now, you've all been waiting very patiently. We have 12 lucky blocks to hit. <gasps> Another dragon egg? Some food? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Evil potion. <laughs> okay, so that's basically a death potion. <gasps> nice. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not good. That's all right. Number no oh, no, no, no. No, we're... Oh, nice. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're gonna burn. No. Nice try. Ten. 
Hey! We got another, uh, okay. Another hero shovel and another hoe. I always love hay. Honestly though, the best part about that was the gold. Still got one more. Woo! Ha ha! <laughs> that would probably be really useful against like the wither or something. But anyway, we could, and then, <gasps> Nice. Wasn't sure if that would work. Well, yeah, we'll take jump boost. There's jump boost and haste. And honestly, while we're at that, we'll just take all this stuff. Go ahead and just tack this on as well. And there's a triple. Much more efficient. Which means we can also remove these gates. And we can add these together for a good shovel. And tonight, I'm gonna chop some trees. We'll sell some sticks. We can swap a diamond for an emerald. Make a new pickaxe. And enchant that. We'll also add Mending to some stuff. I'm also gonna add power four to our lucky bow. Do mending as well. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really, I don't know about this thing. <laughs> but that is so cool. <laughs> what? Oh! Okay, that went right on through the bedrock. Okay, let's patch this up real quick. There we go. Not really the most useful thing sometimes. <laughs> now for our next project, I'm actually gonna need some more oak logs. Oh, hey, I'll use that right now. So I think it's time we finally make a roof. That's a good start. That's better. That is better yet. I think that's starting to look pretty good. And there it is. Quick fill in on that. And boom, there we have it. The thing that I don't like about it, however, are, are, are these. Sweet, that looks better to me. Today we have... Oh! Oh my god! We can actually probably eventually go to the end. Now, I've got a bit of a sinister plan. It involves a little containment chamber. So this plan starts with putting a few composters at the bottom of this hole. We should have a few takers. And we've got no shortage of wheat. So I will appease their demands. We can level these guys up. And one more level. There are the melons. There we have it again. And one more. Okay, so now everyone is gonna give us melons no matter what. And oh my, it is getting quite dark out. It would be a shame if a zombie were to spot me. What is the zombie doing? Oh no, the zombie. Nope. Okay, well that was a fail. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, take two. Ah! <laughs> now, they spawned the golem. Seems like he's just gonna chill. So what we need to do now is off this guy. There we go. And there we go. This is really tricky when you've got four guys, but we're gonna give it a go, okay? So one splash potion is all you need. There we go. And grab some water. Okay, I think we have enough time. So the question is, if one of these guys turns, will they go for him or will they just continue to go for me? But if they attack the villager, we're about to go cod zombies on him. Oh, gosh dang it. We can still do three. Okay, he's chilling. I think we're good. I was just I was just far away on that first one. Oh, man, we almost nailed it. There's two. Oh, we're so close. There's three. Okay. Guys, you don't want to go in there. Oh, man, that was so close. Fortunately, we can do another set of potions. There's our splash. And there's our last guy. Okay, so on the bright side, we do have three great looking farmers. Now the question you've all been wondering, how's the melon game looking? And my answer is going to be really good. There we go. There we are. All right, my man, you're free to come on out. And your melons. Dude, that is incredible. Now we got four more. Ugh, nice try. Really, really not sure if that would kill me. Hey. Oh, in case you were wondering, we are on five now. I'm just not gonna waste your time showing the lame hits. Oh, by the way, a skeleton dropped a pretty cool bow. Take power three. Wait, it has infinity and mending. That's hype. Normally you can't get that. But yeah, we can, uh, we can add these together. And then by doing that, it'll repair the bow. And that's pretty solid. But I think where we're sitting right now, my next goal is to start working on this beacon. So while the melon maker goes, we're just gonna do some good old fashioned gold mining. Because we have silk touch, it just drops them as a whole piece, which we can then smelt. So it's actually a pretty solid way to get gold. And every nine pieces of gold is one block towards the beacon. Oh, wow. That was like a whole stack in, in maybe three or four minutes. And the day provides a whole lot more. 
more. Dude, I honestly have no idea why I've never done this before. Yeah, we need fuel. I guess jungle log is gonna have to do. So we can get this cooking, grab our melons. And that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's uh, 14 emerald blocks. There's two ways we could do this. I'm gonna go wide on this first. And gold. There's uh, a... <laughs> There's the base. We're gonna build this up rather than, than down into the blocks. Speaking of which, we got 10 hits. Hey! Whoa! Cool! <gasps> okay, so these guys, man, they, like, I mean, come on. This, this says it all right here. Hey, we got dogs! Wow, we got a squad. That's so hype. And another... <laughs> dragon egg. All right, so I might take a few of these. Also, just shout out to this mason for like still being alive. Support dogs to the villagers. Our hero villager is chilling. You know, maybe I should try, uh, I don't know, like taming one of these horses. It is tamed. What about these uh, zombie horses? Huh, and this guy. Let's take diamond armor. I don't know, kind of feeling normal horse. Also, just been like wondering what this mason is up to. Oh, there he is. <laughs> While we wait for our stuff, I will make it my duty to save this man. Welcome to the compound. Somewhere along the line, I found a baked potato. You know what they say about baked potatoes. Now let's hit a random five. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's quite rude. Yeah, it still gives us nine blocks of iron for free. Who's the real winner? Watch this. Thanks. Yet another hero villager. <gasps> Okay, this is what we're talking about. Hello, my man. I've been in the market for some armor. Dude, protection four and fire protection four. I just gotta take it right here, right now. So this guy also has feather falling three boots. So yeah, that, that, that is a big upgrade. Now we've got the rest of our gold. That's gonna become quite a few blocks, which I actually think that's gonna be enough. And there it is. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Three layer triple beacon. Taking jump, taking strength, and we'll take haste. So pretty easy slime kills. Man, blast protection four helmet, I will take that. Better than blast protection one. This one's kind of junky, but I guess we could just make a new pair of leggings. You know, just, just do it the old foul. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Yeah, there it is. Not the best, but I mean, protection four is protection four. Slap some mending down on these bad boys. And that is one beautiful set of armor. So this is something that I just did. It's looking a little bit nicer now. New blocks. Absolutely hilarious. Too bad I got respiration game. Okay, so I have like absolutely no idea what is going on with my world. Everything's just becoming icy. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, killing iron golems is, is great and all, but I think we should make an iron farm. We're gonna need some things. 30 walls, ladders, signs, hoppers, composters, repeaters, redstone, beds, lava, water, glass, chest, piston, redstone, and one name tag. And here we go. Okay, so this is my first time ever doing something like this, but we've got our villagers in place. So for those of you that might not know these, basically how it's gonna work is we're gonna bring a zombie up to here, and it's basically just gonna put the, these villagers in a constant state of panic. That will then cause an iron golem to spawn, but because it can't spawn in here, it will spawn up top, and I presume this is where we will now. This is where we'll have the golem and the lava. Okay, here's our guy. Oh, look at that. He was gonna do it on his own. What a considerate guy. Man, if I just leave, will he do it? <laughs> yes. Your name is Yeet. So lava goes here. Water goes here. <gasps> no. How? Okay, are we chilling? What? Oh my god. I didn't realize these boots have frost walk. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the last step is just to put this here. Oh! It's timed. It pushes up. It pushes down. This looks so evil. It's just a villager panic machine. Yes! And there we go. Now, speaking of farms, whoa, that's a lot of melons. Okay, so today I have a bit of a curious question, right? We can take these. Uh, this is our, this is 49, so last day for five. These are all lucky blocks. The, the world is sprinkled in lucky, very unlucky, and, and, and uh, very unlucky. 
But apparently you could take a diamond and make that like an extra lucky block. You could add this to make luck 100 and four of them? What? Did we just break the game? You can also add an enchanted golden apple. This feels a little abusive, but we'll see. I don't know how I just got so many. Those are all like plus something. And then these are plus 100. Anyway, here's hoping for the best. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, we literally just lost all our good ones. Dude, come on. And I mean, we did get a jukebox. Okay, that's that's kind of, actually, I've been wanting to make a new room for a while. We're finally gonna make another section. I need dirt. Fortunately, dirt is very easy to come by. Cool. And okay, we just need to wall this off a little bit during construction. And by the way, this is actually day 50, so we're up to six blocks a hit. Let's uh, let's switch it up. Nice. Oh, actually. Whoa, that's a sick. Oh my god, that's absolutely cracked. And nice. Nice. I'll take the sea lanterns. Okay, I'm gonna be a little distracted here, but there's a beacon. Add that, I don't know, right there. Go see what our horror farm is up to. Not bad. Oh, it is quite enough. Nice, yeah, cause, yeah, sick. I'm gonna choose speed. Anyway, back to our new room. You know, for now, I might actually just leave it like this. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I could say I love the look of this, but I guess it's a little bit different, and for now, we'll give it a shot. All right, so I've got kind of a cool idea here. There's our jukebox. And just like my background, we can put some discs up. Even crazier than that, we can take some blue dye, make blue stained glass. And I mean, hey, it's kind of a start. Now, I want to do something similar on this side. Yay! Oh my god, I forgot. This is another beacon. Oh my god. Every time I think things can't get better, this game just really comes through for us. One is lucky, one is not. Okay. Well, that's not very lo- Whoa! Dude, Magma Cube boss! Well, there's another. That's everything except for regeneration. Can also take this iron. That's a lot of blocks more. Man, that's actually pretty good. We're gonna be there soon enough. All right, and so after a little bit of grinding, we have our second side here. Now, the next thing I actually wanna do is rather than make this middle area, like just, you know, another basic whatever, I'm thinking rather than making it just another room, can open it up and it could sort of be like an indoor garden like i think that looks pretty cool we're gonna kind of get a greenhouse effect going on here oh we could sell off a lot of melons and that'll finish it off now uh, let's see what we got over here <laughs> oh that's kind of hype let's take what we got for fences i'm gonna make an area for these sheep so we'll round these lads up the best we can okay and this should do for now now we just gotta collect all the wool. For now, we'll store the wool and we're gonna make a ton of carpet to just hopefully discourage slimes from spawning. I mean, there's a ton of ways you can do this. It's, it's really just one of many. So yeah, we'll take what we've got and call this just like a, a soft test run. Not even sure if this is the right way to do it. I, I, I've really never dealt with this before, but I just gotta hope that this combination of torches, really bad looking carpet will, will keep the slime away. Oh yeah, that looks awful. But I hate slimes much more than I hate the look of this carpet. Now let's grab some iron and the progress to the beacon can continue. Also 21 blocks of emerald. Oh my God. We are close. Oh man, this is a big one. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay. That's perfect timing. Oh, actually, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 you come along with me. Yes, not quite there, but I would say that's a really good start. And if we take these, well, that should be enough. Now, don't let me forget about this room. We just got more blocks. I want a little bit of a theme to this at least. Oh, we're almost there. That's literally all we need, three blocks. Surely we can come up with three blocks. I can kill these golems. And for the sextuple beacon, a diamond block. So again, we're going for a little bit of a theme. Dot down there. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Speed two, haste two, resistance two, strength two, jump boost two. And last but not least, we finally have regeneration. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now that it's a layer four, I think it should stretch all the way over to here. Like, yeah, that's still resetting. Okay, so I've gone ahead and we've acquired a lot more wool, which for us means a whole lot of carpet, which might mean a whole lot less slimes for us. 
Ha, <laughs> looks sick. Maybe we can handle this area a little bit better. Okay, so rather than doing this the old fashioned way of just clipping guys, we'll sell some melons, buy some redstone. I wanna make a few pistons. I remember in Luke the Notable Superfly, he did, he did some piston stuff. I haven't watched any any videos on how to do this. So I think the structure is something like this. And then it's like, when it's big, it, it loses its, its wool. So, what? I'm honestly just annoyed right now. This is just annoying. What did you think was gonna happen? I have a beacon. How that even happened, I'm not really sure. Let's try this again. Okay, well that's a failure. Okay, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit YouTube, we'll get a real farm going. I also just realized that set my game back to day zero. So we're gonna cheat for a second. Bear with me. Time add 1 million, 392,000 ticks. 58, absolutely nailed it. So I think the only thing we've never made before that we need is a dispenser. Hopper, minecart with hopper. So we're gonna start out with something like this. So powered rail at each end and rails in the middle. Place a hopper down and there we go. Oh gosh, dang it. Oh yeah, redstone really hits these blocks, huh? So that's easy enough. Now we're getting fancy. The Spencers go here. This is basically the farm. Like, like one sheep. You can go in there, buddy. I'm okay with two different colors. For our last step, we take shears and, and, and simply, I think, just put them in here. Ha ha! Nice! And they go in there? Perfect. So this is not bad, but I think we could do better. Okay, so we've got some lads. And we're actually gonna dye this guy blue. Okay, so I think that should be enough. This tree is really bothering me. Oh, and look at all this iron. Look at all these melons. I've also been meaning to get a new pair of boots. Yeah, something like a little protection four. Slap down mending on that bad boy. We have a couple blocks to hit. I think somewhere along the line, I, I got messed up. I think up to 60 should have been six hits and Anyway, we, we got like like 22 blocks to hit right now, but we got our safety gear. So here we go. Oh, that is a hype helmet. That is exactly what I needed. Oh, that's a good sword. Another beacon. Hey, another hero potion. Oh, we're getting some some cracked gear. This is absurd. I feel like I'm breaking the game. Okay, wow, that was chaotic. We are so stacked right now. Like, I don't even need anything anymore. The only thing I want are more end portal frames. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't forget this beacon. Oh yes, yeah, so we just casually have three more beacons chilling. I mean, it's not overly necessary, but we can start another beacon over here. So that would be a start. Take some speed as well. And for third, I guess we'll take haste. And uh, I've also decided that I, I'm good. I'm good on sheep. I find this very annoying. So I'm setting this horde of sheep free. Now I'm gonna grab my horse and we're actually gonna go finally, I should add, on, on, on a little adventure. Despite how absolutely cracked we are, uh, there's just some items that are like really hard to come by. So we are going to tear down a village. Okay, so that was a good start. We are going to sleep because we still got to tackle the biggest thing of all. You know, there's kind of a funny irony to this where I have to go mining for cobblestone rather than ore. All right, feels good to be topped back up. Whoa, shulker, skeleton, bee. That's cool. Hey. Hey! Oh, you need two shells. That's so sad. But it's a step in the right direction. Okay, now remember when I said don't let me forget about this place? Well, I forgot about this place. What I wanted to do is make a little museum. Three dragon eggs. That's really stupid. We got three mob heads. And maybe we can fill this with something cool as well too. So, little update. It seems like we've got a pretty good chunk of wool. Definitely getting less slimes. So, I'm just gonna continue the laying of the carpet. Now, I I think this is starting to have some issues with spawning. Getting a lot of iron golems down here. I'm gonna get some slabs. We're gonna cover as much as we can. I suppose slabs would just, in general, be another way we could stop slimes from spawning. Oh, yay, another beacon. One more beacon. Okay, so overall, you know, I think things are going pretty well. But I really just need to take some time and, and, and I don't know, work on, on our aesthetic. So first of all, we should probably finally get a roof for here. 
I think that looks great. All right, I think that looks great, but I'm not done just yet. We're gonna go ahead and add a little more dirt around the building. Next, we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna do some beacon moving. Perfect. We'll get this fence closed off. And we'll just move this beacon as well. Hey, for now, that looks pretty good. So yeah, this just gives us a little more breathing room. Look at my man, he's just checking out the museum. It's great. Now, yet another thing I think we should work on is just this whole bed section and really just our, our entire villager situation. I've never been a huge fan of just locking villagers up in a single space. I always feel really bad about it, which is stupid because it's a video game, but I've just watched too much Black Mirror. So I'm wondering if maybe we can get more of a bunk bed situation going on here. Not really sure if this will work but we'll see. So maybe we'll just make this middle area kind of like a workshop floor. Oh, okay. Okay, that seems to be working. Only problem is people are still getting stuck outside. I'm not really opposed to getting some more villagers, you know, like for the culture and whatnot. It's not bad. So basically where I'm at right now is I, I love the look of this. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Overall, I'm a big fan of this build, but I really hate the exterior. I absolutely hate what I've done and I just don't think that the yellow looks good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a lot of jungle log. We're gonna turn that into straight slabs. We are gonna make this look better. Perfect. Okay, so that's a good start, but I'm not even close to being done. But first, we need to chop more trees. I think we got a lot more in us. So I got more dogs. You guys can chill out here. I promise I'm gonna do something with the dogs eventually. And so that's gonna be another layer. But I think we're gonna go around again. I think I finally feel like this is enough. This stretches 15 blocks out. And the next thing that I wanna do is actually make walls around this. But first, some very lucky blocks. Ha <laughs> ha crazy, another beacon. That's like so crazy, <laughs> Oh man, I should be like using these dogs more. Dude, why am I getting so many ender chests? Oh, okay. I literally just need end port. Oh my God. Oh, a beacon. <laughs> Oh my God. So we're looking for wall material. And what I want is actually gonna be found in the nether. And I'm figuring what would be a better material for a wall than, you know, a bit of classic blackstone. And well, 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 if it is, it's a blackstone right here. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta say, that's pretty convenient. Maybe while we're down here, we'll find a little more ancient debris. Cause that is like the one thing we haven't got for free. So anyway, let's get mining. That was comedically quick. <laughs> oh, that is one piece of netherite gear. All right, we'll get this cooking and let's make some walls. There's our ingot and one very stacked netherite chest plate. Now let's start the construction of this wall. One layer would be kind of cool because it's just easy to get down from, but I think it looks kind of lame. Not to mention villagers would be getting out and it'd just be a bit of a hassle. So we're gonna see what two looks like. I don't hate this, but like, <sighs> How sick would this look if we're completely surrounded by three layer walls? Like I can't see, I can hardly see the slime, let alone the lucky blocks. Like, yeah, sure, this looks okay, but that looks better. Okay, so that's settled then. That's what we're gonna do. We will make watermelon, sell them off to restore a pick. Once our pick is back up. So now that my pick is back up to health, eh, we can continue mining, pick up more blackstone. Next, we get some more walls and we'll get back to placing some walls, but oh man, that just looks incredible. I just want to take a moment to recognize that we have finally created a peaceful sanctuary. It's a good day. And I actually think that after all this time and consideration, I want to move this beacon. There's just a lot of points where my beacon just, it doesn't reach me. And, and I don't like that. Also reclaim some of those diamond blocks. You can use those diamonds for a new pick. That's so easy. Yes, we can add these together. And there we have efficiency five. I mean, I probably should have done that three minutes ago, but uh, anyway, we have it now. It'll work with with our haste too. It'll, it'll be a beautiful thing. So yeah, I like the idea of a beacon over in this corner here. And so layer one, layer two, layer three, and 
friends. So close. So close. This is also not wide enough. Why did no one tell me? Easy enough. And we are not even close with diamonds. You know, we'll get there, don't worry. But that looks, you know, it's fine and it's functional. We can also start doing our hits. These things are too easy to come by. So on the bright side, we did get three more end portal frames. We also have six more beacons now. But on the downside, I don't think that we have enough material for a full other beacon. Yeah, so not quite there. And if say we just want to, you know, pretend we got another level here. Kill off some iron lads. Hit our farm. We also had a bit of gold from our mining session. Just gives us a good idea. And it's about that time. We got eight more hits. Oh, no. Oh. That's new. Now, I will definitely scoop up uh, some mushrooms. And I think it's time we go back to the nether. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of this lazy mine because we can find gold and ancient debris this way. Oh, hey. Hey. Wow. Oh, my God. I wish it wasn't right here because this just it doesn't even look legit. I promise. <laughs> Finally. Like, this is what I was here for. The, the, the ancient debris aside attraction. Oh, yeah, it's a one. That puts us at 10 total ancient debris right now. So we'll get the rest of this cooking. And we have 16 hits. Hey. Uh, man, and now it's nighttime. Uh, yeah, so we need some melons. So we needed to heal our pick. <laughs> but it's really not even close to being enough. So maybe we'll get back to our old hustle. Oh, yeah. You can always count on the sticks. That's also 19 more blocks of emerald, two blocks of diamond, 11 blocks of gold, and 10 more iron, which does more than finish our bottom layer. Just gonna put the rest of the iron in here. Same goes for the emeralds. I know it doesn't look like it, but we're actually getting pretty close. We'll just head on back. Time for another session. Oh, we are off to a good start. Another one. I gotta say, this, uh, this session has not been near as good as the last one. We need one more piece for full netherite armor. Oh, man. Yes! Thank you, Gabe. I'm content. Stickify. Stonkify. More sticks. More melons. Melon stonks. There's three more ingots. Gonna sit on that for a sec. 11 more blocks of gold. That'll cover up this layer. So, you know, at least it's gonna look right. A few more blocks of emerald for this layer. And look at that. We're really, truly getting there. And now that we're into our 80s, we get nine hits a day. That's some more gold. Oh, hey, I guess we already have that, but cool, I guess. Well, that is appreciated. Now, very quickly, before it turns into day, yes. Beautiful. Wait, 83. 83. Did I just skip an entire day? I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, at least we're getting blocks. So that does give us three layers of beacon. Now, we did get some diamonds from that as well. And uh, yeah, this is the man. So not bad. Obviously much better. So back to armor for a sec. I'm running into a problem. I lost my mending librarian. And this is my last piece of mending. This is awesome. Again, no mending. And this is almost done. But once again, no mending. We can add these together and we don't lose the double protections. Okay, yeah. And we'll just add mending to our awesome helmet. Grab a netherite. Oh my God. Oh my God. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is the best armor I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, don't worry. It's totally legit. I just did some off screen mining. <gasps> Six. Dude, meant to be. Ho -ho. I cannot believe the odds on that. Okay, wow. We can finally go to the end. Oh my god. What if we just made this a stronghold room? Maybe even replace that for a jukebox? Yeah. I got one shot at this. I got a, a hero's potion. I got I got some gear. Like, still no totem, but, you know, just to be annoying. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna bring some of the boys with me as well. Let's, uh, let's go get us a legit dragon egg. Hey! Here we go! Uh, literally none of my dogs came with me, but that's fine. Rather than be too cocky, um, here's what we're gonna do. We'll just set up a little mini beacon. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not cracked with the bow today. Oh, it broke my beacon. What a jerk. I'm, uh, I'm gonna drink this potion then, because we've been holding on to it all game. What is happening? Do I have night vision? Oh my god, easy. Big ones, no problem. I, I swear this bow is different. Oh, it literally is it's shooting so different. Yeah, like it's just, it's like impossible to hit these from, from close. Hey, anyway, dragon's coming down. Okay, I feel like, yeah, yeah, this isn't very fair. <laughs> I am so bustedly OP. The dragon did a, a, a 
half a heart. Like, this is just not a fair fight. Oh, girl, why are you coming back down? I'm so sorry. Okay, tell you what. Give me a sec. Ha ha! <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Take that. And thank you for playing Ender Dragon. Nice try. Oh, gee, no, I forgot a torch. Oh no, I can't get the egg. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we actually beat the game. <laughs> I'm just kind of beaming right now because that was like, I don't know, it felt, it felt way too easy for all you legit egg lovers. Okay, there you guys go. One real dragon egg. There you have it. There is our legit multi-layer beacon. Now here's what we're going to do on this one. I'm going to dig the iron out of here. It really doesn't matter how this looks. And then we're going to start doing our iron on top. Oh, <laughs> we're going to finish our iron on top. Okay, one more Sextuple beacon. Not bad at all. Now, I suppose if we wanted to get really serious, we could try to finish it out and, you know, have both sides with, with diamond top. I don't know how realistic that is. 23 more blocks. That's 207 more diamonds. I, I don't really see us getting that in, you know, 15 days. You know what? Just for the memes, I'm gonna set up a little baby beacon over here. And that's mostly just because I like having speed boost around the edges. Don't think much of this. Now, let's get back to chaos for a sec. It's so hard to not make beacons in this world. You know, there is one more beacon a little more speed around the edges you know that's great because like you know we don't have proximity over here so there's like a little zone where we don't have beacon gosh should we just go for it part of me feels like that would be a really cool way to finish this video to actually have four sextuple beacons in a hundred days okay so i want to try something kind of random that's probably not going to help us very much Haha! <laughs> Man, if I had an unlimited amount of TNT, oh, I tell ya, that would be something spectacular. Unfortunately, I do not. In this world, if we want gold, we gotta do it the old fashioned way. This time, I think I'm gonna try a different strategy, though. We're gonna go up to Y16 and basically just do some old school strip mining. Wow, okay, that's uh. Fantastic, but not what I'm looking for. There we go. Oh my god, dude. Why is Y16 being so crazy? Dude, this is literally insane, and I'm like not even looking for it. Oh my god. <laughs> I have literally never seen anything like this. Getting netherite tools was never one of my goals for this video. <laughs> and sadly, I just, I don't think we have enough time to set up a gold farm. So I think we're gonna have to go back to this formula of just digging in the overworld. There we go. Nice. Hey. Hey. A little more. And as we get into day 86, that's a stack. Getting there. Woo. Definitely the fastest way. So day 86 is going to give us nine more hits. There's nine blocks of iron. Whoa. Cool. And there it is. Another beacon. There's 26 blocks of iron. Do a little more mining tonight. Now we can sell more melons. Anyway, our gold is just about through. That makes 21 blocks. All right, and there are some emeralds from the boys. So, I mean, very least, it would be cool to do a 9x9 nine nine beacon. It's just like the single. So, that would be filling a square like this, which actually doesn't seem all too unrealistic. Oh, cool. So, nothing really today as far as this stuff goes. So, anyway, we could just keep this up. The second layer going. Feel really set on this goal, but it also feels like it's gonna get a little bit grindy. I don't really wanna bore you guys, so I, I won't make this too painful for you. We're mining gold ore. Smelts ended up, profiting off of iron golem suffering, and getting easy blocks. And that's basically it. Okay, and so like two ish days later, we're looking pretty nice. We got. 43 blocks of emerald, 27 iron, I would like more than that, and 39 blocks of gold. So we can go ahead and start filling in this bottom layer. There we go. Oh, I missed the spot. Speed two, but then you hit jump boost. There we go, we got both. So we can make it over that wall, and there we go. The more exciting thing is that we are now on day 90. We still have 19 hits for day 88 and 89. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can just sacrifice one of these guys, and there's nine right there. Literally just do that again, and there's 17 lucky blocks. It's, it's a bit of a weird hack. <gasps> Evoker spawn. One egg. Whoa. 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 Okay. Okay. We got a few. A few, but we're so strong, man. 
Get out of here. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. I really didn't think I was going to get this. Ha, oh, a totem. Wow. Can do one more. Oh, I got my strength now. That's exciting. There's also another shulker shell. So there's a shulker box. Maybe we'll just put all this stuff in it for now. So we'll keep our grind up. Oh yeah, and I also did not hit my blocks for day 90. We'll take, uh, here, watch this. This is actually, you know, it uses up some stuff, but it's, it's it's efficient. Okay, so there's 9, 10. Okay, there's 20. So 90 and 91, another beacon. Oh my god, another one. Wow, I am getting some really bad luck. Oh my god. Wondering if maybe that isn't effective as I had hoped. Check this out. Nice. But what I meant to be going after is this corner. So this is gonna put us almost one layer done. Now, one day later, I haven't gotten any more gold, sadly, but that's a start. And we can just chuck the rest in with iron. Also, one more big block of diamond. So another day, just not all that much to add. More importantly, we're missing gold. Oh! Haha! -ha. I do have channeling. I'll take it. So we'll get back to the gold grind today. Figured while I'm here, we can do another blast. Yeah, nice. Well, that's pretty hype. Anyway, we know that's not the way to find gold. Finding gold is the way to find gold. And that's a fact you can quote me on. I feel like an armadillo. Dude, I am literally about to walk out of here with four stacks. Hello there. Ha ha! Let's just take a peek through here. Those big, tall, spooky guys. Oh, there he is. That's what we're looking for. We only need one skull for a wither fight. We got looting three. Oh my god. Okay, check this out. You killed two wither skeletons. <laughs> that is, uh, that is just fantastic. Now, with that out of the way, we got some more gold. On to our fifth stack. As we grab that, we're also looking at some soul sand here. That's just about five stacks. Oh my god. We absolutely have to. Look at that gold block right there. Let me just, uh, pop my good stuff away. This is so empty. Is this one of those lame bastions with nothing in it? We have here nothing good. And sure. I am feeling generally disappointed. Yeah, that was very disappointing. Ah, slowly but surely making our way back. Okay, well, I see sheep, so we got to be close. <laughs> and there we are. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, my God. Who is this man with all this gold got 15 ancient debris to cook up all right while that cooks i'm gonna make some potions forgot i have all these good potions oh yeah i have a hero's potion grab that and this and this and i yeah i'm not even worried let's just do this let's just take on this big old meanie. Not sure what's gonna happen when the wither breaks these, but uh, let's just go for it, okay? We're living on the edge, day 95. The video ends here, it ends here. He's charging up, and so am I. Lucky bow. Uh, oh, it's stuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, charge creeper, I don't like that, actually. I do not like that. Oh, oh my god. Okay, it killed it. Sure, sure, we got this. Dropping mobs. I really like this potion. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got the strength. Day 95. Woo. <laughs> Technically, this is our 19th nether star. But, you know, in reality, wow. That was our uh, our first kill on the wither. Oh, this is so sick. Dude, this is insane. Wait, if I eat an apple? There we go. I think that's, I think that's as many as I can get in this current situation. So it's not the hidden trophy. But, um, oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, so we've got some netherite scrap. There's our four ingots, there's the sword, the pick, the shovel, and netherite axe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, after all this time, we can finally craft a legit beacon. There's 31 blocks of gold, so we can easily finish this edge. It's been a few days, so we get like 30 hits, I think. <laughs> More iron, uh, that's about it. Now, before we finish our other beacon, I've got some thoughts here. So we can move this out by one, move this out by one, and this as well. That gives us a double, and this way I get speed two and jump boost two, which really for my purposes is the most I need here. One more day, it's not gonna be the perfect beacon, but it is a beacon. We've got the single, the double, 
the sextuple, and the sextuple quad layered. There's only one thing else I want to do. We're just going to squeeze out as many last pieces of blocks as we can. See if we've got anything else hiding around. An emerald there, 20 diamonds. I think that might be it. So here we are, day 99. This is the plan. We can at least give this a bit of a diamond aesthetic. Not complete, but looks all right. That gives us, you know, two more blocks of iron. Can actually do a little dismantling here. We'll fill it back in. Extend this out by one. Add another extension on there. And boom, there is our second double beacon, which on this side will now give us speed two and jump boost two, which means I basically just spent about, you know, 25, 30 hours grinding so that I can run all the way around my base without losing speed. But come on, dude, look at these hops. Look at the sheer athleticism on my man. And on day 99, we've only got one more thing to do. I'm gonna get a lot of lucky blocks. And on this beautiful night 99, we are going to make a lucky block of our own. Eight long, eight wide, eight high. You know, it also just occurred to me, I guess I, I didn't necessarily need to make this uh, thick. Could have just cheated, but I didn't really have anything else to do today, so. <laughs> and there we have it. They won't do anything, but I'm gonna put some beacons up here. In our first 10 days, we hit 10 lucky blocks, followed by 20, 30, 40, and so on. In total, we hit 550 blocks. This is 510. This little square we have right here is 40, which is the exact amount of blocks that we actually hit in this video. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace!